after that we just chill. You can go away from your PC or phone and just hang out for like 5 to 8 minutes until you save up enough cash. Hello gamers, my name is KK and today we are completing High Finance Champs. Very straightforward, no RNG strategy where you will win pretty much all of the times. Very few abilities. Uh, I don't even think that we will use any abilities except the Quincy ability. So it should be very easy and straightforward. Okay, so the early game we begin with Submarine and the Dirt Monkey. We follow this up with the second Dirt Monkey and then we will place the third Dirt Monkey. Re remember to repeat the placements I have here because uh, otherwise it's not gonna be as reliable. I've seen other st starts for this map but this one is uh, the most reliable of those that I tested. So uh, it never dies. Three Dirt Monkeys in two to the left, one to the right, and the submarine. This is the series called Guides for Noobs, where KK explains each aspect of Chimps, Half Cash, or any other hard game mode and makes it easy. Okay, now we upgraded to the Twin Guns, and after that, we still don't place the Quincy. <laughs> uh, because the good thing about Quincy, you can place her her or him later and Quincy will still level up to level 20 very quickly. We've placed the ninja first and after we place the ninja we can finally save up the cash to afford the Quincy. Quincy is gonna be located to the right uh, symmetrically to the ninja as you can see and it will deal the cleanup function and also the Quincy is gonna help us in the 90s because uh, Quincy's level 3 ability is really good against the blimps in the 90s even though Quincy cannot clean up everything on his own he still deals really good damage uh, after that we upgrade the ninja to 201 and the submarine to 002 uh, 002 is very important because the uh, air burst darts will help you uh, against the rounds 20 through 23 and 27. After that we place the alchemist below the ninja 200 on strong very important and next we upgrade him to the berserker brew. Uh, why berserker brew? Because it lasts longer and it's just a really solid upgrade for us to have and it ensures that our uh, t both non lead popping towers can pop lead balloons for l the longer period of time. After that it's gonna be very straightforward. From this point on we upgrade the double shot ninja, so 301, and after that we will upgrade our submarine to the 204 uh, eventually, so 203 before uh, the round 40, and important plot twist. We don't upgrade tier 4 submarine before round 40. I found more reliable strategy is to use the alchemist tier 4 first and only then we after we upgrade him we will afford the tier 4 submarine. So 401 alchemist and we chill on round 40. We want to use Quincy's ability just for this as a safety precaution but as you can see Submarine with the ALK buff is more than capable to deal with this MOAB. After that, we finally upgrade the armor piercing dart. Okay, now finally the meat and potatoes of this tutorial. We uh, clean up the one of the buildings, as you can see to the right. We place the helicopter 302 on top of this building. Next is to place the 020 village. After that, we just chill. You can go away from your PC or phone and just hang out for like 5 to 8 minutes until you save up enough cash for the Apache Darchi. Uh, you can use the Quincy's ability uh, level 3 and level 10. Primarily you want to use level 10 if you see that the balloons leak from the uh, blimps. So a few ceramics is very good to clean up. Next step is to upgrade the 220 village and <laughs> you probably guessed it from this point on we will be saving up for the tier 5 uh, <laughs> helicopter once again. So 
that's pretty simple, don't you think? Round 63 is gonna be a breather, round 76, same thing, but for round 76 and round 78, you wanna be using level 10 ability of Quincy. That's the one of the main reasons why we chose this hero. Quincy is good at dealing with the ceramic waves, and Quincy is also really good at dealing damage to the blimps later on. That end, she, he is cheap and uh, levels up very quickly. At this stage, you go away for five more minutes. <laughs> uh, really as simple as that. Now, uh, we have 27,000 and round 76, boom, use the ability, very important, don't forget it. Um, let Apache do the job, and for round 78, same thing, use the ability, boom, as soon as you see this first ceramic wave, then you wait and the second ceramic wave will appear immediately when you have your storm of arrows recovered. So just spam the storm of arrows and you will use it in time. Don't mess this up, this could be slightly nerve-wracking, but nothing too major. Good. Use the storm of arrows and you win. Uh, level 3 ability will not work on round 76 or 78. Remember, only level 10. And now we are very close to the Apache Prime. As for the round 80, use level 3 as soon as you have uh, the blimp and range of the Quincy. And then when it pops down to the Moabs, use the level 10. Boom. To clean up all the ceramics. Uh, also, slightly higher than average difficulty of maneuver, but nothing too major. From this point on, just use Quincy's level 3 for the cleanup, and we upgrade Apache by round 81. Apache Prime. <laughs> and now, <laughs> Spike Factory. You didn't expect that, right? <laughs> yes, this is gonna be the Perma Spike uh, and the Apache prime run. Um, so, you place the spike factory in the exact spot that I did, in the bottom right uh, corner near the building. It will fit there, don't worry. You upgrade it to 0 to 4 and you place the alchemist to 0 1 right near it. After that, you just chill and you save up for the perma spike. Uh, don't buy anything else, just go straight for the perma spike because even the this tier of the spike factory is uh, what we need to destroy the DDTs. Uh, since we don't have the MAB village for the Apache Prime, he's pretty bad against the DDTs, but the spike factory is what will save our bots. As for the around 90s, use Quincy's level 3 as soon as you have a lot of blimps uh, in range. It's pretty straightforward. Use level 10 as the cleanup option. Also, don't forget to use level 10 uh, on the DDTs. Uh, surprisingly enough, level 20 Storm of Arrows deals really good damage against the DDTs. As you could have seen, round 93, uh, we clutched because of the Quincy's level 10. Good. And on round 94, we will finally be able to afford the uh, Perma Spike. Use the same uh, strategy that we used with Quincy, and now rebuild the building that we have near the Perma Spike, and place the Jungle Drums Village to speed up the process of generating the Perma Spikes uh, by 25%. Gorgeous. As for the round 95, what we do? Uh, pretty much we do nothing. Uh, we just place the village and Perma Spike will do the rest. Use the abilities of Quincy, uh, it's not like uh, it's some critical damage, but with Quincy's ability you want to deal as much damage to the Moabs as you can, and uh, to have a few Perma Spikes left. But as you can see, we had like 8 of them uh, easily. Next step is also very straightforward. You place the Mortar 0 to 4 to D fortify the Blimps, on the round 98. Yes, you heard me right. This mortar exists just so that we can dis defend the round 98. <laughs> uh, but you, trust me, it's worth it. Shattering shells afford it. 
when the blimps on round 97 pop, you want to uh, aim your mortar at them. As you can see, we don't really micro that much. What we do is we activate Quincy's abilities and that's it. Also, we defortify the BFBs using the mortar. Uh, for the round 98, we leave the mortar targeting priority in the very beginning of the track. We allow him to de fortify all the mobs. We use uh, Quincy's ability and now we pray that we have enough uh, spikes to defend all of this. But you can be confident that if you repeated everything correctly, you will have more than enough. Boom, as you can see, like we have already this, this stack of at least 30 over there. As for the round 99, you can leave your mortar in the same place, use Quincy's ability if you want to, to save a few spikes, because we will need to have a lot of perma spikes stored for the round 100, uh, because as you can see, this is the pile you are looking for, uh, for the round 100. Use all the abilities you have and the when bad reaches the perma spikes he will just pop the, the, this will be destroyed immediately and now we use all the abilities we have to clean the rest as simple as that okay guys press the like or dislike button right now depending on what you think about this video tell me in the comments if this was hard or easy for you i would rate this map on the easier end of the advanced maps um subscribe now and press the bell notifications, why not? See ya in the next one.